Raw Status TV, smash that like button, the Raw Status IG and Instagram. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks, to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Big win coming back from two down against a very tough, a very well-coached team, a very potent team offensively and defensively in the Phoenix Suns. But the Bucks get the victory due to a resilient bend but don't break attitude and an all-time great display of basketball by Giannis Antetokounmpo with a great performance scoring 50 points. And I want to give a special shot of respect to Michael Porter Jr., who kind of played a game that I haven't seen played in a while. The the villain, the hatchet man, coming in, disrupting, hitting big shots, making big defensive plays. Every championship team has that Michael Porter Jr. type of a player. And you haven't seen that type of an old school spirit, that tough nose, I'm going to get under your skin and be happy about it type of player in a while in the NBA, if you ask me. Um, it's kind of what Patrick Beverly tries to do, but Michael Porter Jr. following through. And again, the Bucks getting the big win. Um, to me, it came down to the size and experience of the Bucks. The Bucks just ended up being the stronger team. They ended up being the more experienced team. And I believe if they play four more games, the Bucks win four more games. And before the series... I had a hunch the Bucks would would win, but I thought Phoenix would be a much a much tougher out. And I even thought Phoenix had a chance to win. I didn't think the Bucks were a lock. CP three, another tough break. Um, you wonder if that injury did play a part. You wonder what's next for Phoenix and what's next for Chris Paul. Very disappointing finals. Um, you go back to the play, to the game where he kind of tripped over his own feet and just kind of made some big turnovers down the stretch. Like I said, Phoenix just, they ended up showing their lack of experience and their lack of being able to execute in big moments in big game basketball. Versus the Bucks, who have been knocking on the door for years and were able to show why they've been championship contenders for the last four years. We can get into the injuries on both in both conferences, but it is what it is. And these teams played, they played the teams in front of them. So, you know, we're moving on. We're looking at what's going to happen again in this offseason. Um, you have to wonder... If you're I'm hearing a lot of talk about Chris, about Chris Paul as a free agent and looking at the way he played in these playoffs, you have to wonder how much stock do you want to put into Chris Paul? The injury proneness, the. The the lack of showing up in these finals, although he had some nice games. You got to think about that. Um. So, yeah, you know, you do want to see a guy like Paul get a ring, but we'll see. At this point, he may have to team up or Phoenix may have to add some more experience and another player. Although they'll be more experienced from this and they'll undoubtedly be in the hunt next year. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the box. Um, is Giannis the best in the league right now? I'm hearing that out there. You have to lean towards that way. The guy basically put it on. Would you rather have him right now? Um, you talk about a guy like LeBron. LeBron is at the veteran peak side of his career. On the other side, let me know what you think. This is Raw Status TV.